I am in possession of something that could be revolutionary. And it's what happens when a good friend's dream and a 3D modeler come together and bring something to life. We're hopefully gonna be flinging candy through the air. I'm so excited. Let's do this. Let's do it right here on 3D Printing Nerd. Big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. Head to the link in the description and stick around. You might find out more. There you are. Welcome back. This, well, this is amazing. So a friend of mine, Kelly, she is a fantastic chef and food photographer. She had a dream and she posted about it on Twitter. And it was Nerf-esque, but she mentioned flinging Reese's peanut butter cups through the air. Her husband, Raz, he is a fantastic guitar player and indie game developer. He said, Joel? And I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah! We got this. So I reached out to Fernando Hernandez. You know him as DSK001. I'm a Patreon supporter of his. We've talked to him at Earth and showed off a lot of the cool stuff he's designed. I approached him with the idea and I said, Fernando, is this possible? And Fernando, replied in the affirmative, which meant he was quickly designing something and he sent it my way. And originally, I tried printing in ABS on the E2, the Raze 3D E2, and I tried printing in PLA on the Taz 6 with the It Works 3D hot end. If you remember not that long ago, I posted a picture of that hot end encased in plastic and the bed adhesion on the Taz 6 bed wasn't the greatest. The hot end paid the price and so we were left with, well, I was actually kind of down about it all. And then time passed, I'd forgotten about it and I realized Halloween was coming up and we needed a way to safely fling candy across distances. So I tried again and luckily, thankfully, Craft Unique had sent over a few CraftBot machines. The first one in the stream had some issues. Oh, we might have no. got melted filament. Yeah, because the oh. motor is on. It's just, it's like hot to the touch. It hurts. And so they sent the second one, and it doesn't have issues. So I thought I would print out the model on each CraftBot and see how they look. Let's do that right now. are done. I think they look pretty good. All of these parts, the way this works is you assemble it and then a rubber band is attached to one of these little parts here. And these are the parts that kind of shovel off the peanut butter cup. Uh, this is the trigger. This is the sight. This is the handle. This is decoration. So let's talk about this for a second. This is on the craft bot that had the shipping damage. And when I was over there, I was like, whoa, I noticed something. The belt, there's two belts that control the Y axis moving back and forth. And one of the belts looked fine. It's tight like a guitar string. The other belt though, loosey goosey. And so I reached out to my buddy Mike at CraftBot and it looks like I'm gonna be able to get that belt tightened up, which means that machine might be performing better. But in the meantime, it didn't do that bad. I can tell that there are layer artifacts though from that, from that belt being all loosey goosey. So I'm excited to, to get that fixed up. Bed adhesion was fantastic. Look, look at that. Look at that shimmer, that shine. Then also there are these decorative pieces. These are, uh, this is an orange and unnamed PLA. Looks good. I like these. I was gonna go on the handle. As far as this one goes, this was printed on the newer craft bot, no loose belts, and it does look better. So it could be that loose belts are one of the problems, but regardless, let's take a look at the parts. That's the handle. And on this one, I went with pink. Paying for the decorative parts. Over here, the black is a Raze 3D Premium PLA. The orange is, I don't know, it's generic. <laughs> the black over on this side, this is Printed Solid's uh, sole black. Not sole like the sole of my shoe, but sole like in my soul, my soul, sole black. And then the pink is Printed Solid uh, pink. These are cool because these are gonna go on just like that. So have a look. Trigger's gonna fit down in here. This is your sight, and this, this right there, so then you go. 
Oh, you know what I almost forgot? The rubber bands. <laughs> Let me go get some. I got some red ones. Pink, red, I don't know. And I got some blue ones. Blue ones look to be a little bit too big. So have a look, there's a little hole in here that you're supposed to slide the rubber band through. These are mighty big rubber bands. There we go, look at that, look at that. It's through, and you attach it to this post, and attach it to that post, ready? Oh no. I mean, I'll, I'll put the sides on here, I just wanna test it. What do I have? I have a screw right here, I'll set it in there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's not too bad. The screw traveled maybe 10 feet. Okay, 10 feet is optimal. And really, I mean, in this day and age, you need to maintain some sort of distance. And so a 10 foot candy throw, is not too bad. Let's get these assembled. Let's put these all together, get them ready. And then obviously, obviously, we're gonna test them out. These are done, all put together, and I can't wait to test these out. Of course, this is pretty in pink. This one is orange, you glad I didn't say banana. Hashtag dad joke. Let's go buy some Reese's peanut butter cups, and let's, let's have some fun. Pew pew, pew pew, pew pew, pew pew, pew pew. We're here at the house, and uh, this is the, the pink one, and it has the rubber band we showed at the studio, and it goes like that. And then we did some test firing of this one, and we found out that the rubber band didn't fling it far enough. We wrapped up a peanut butter cup in, in saran wrap so that, so that we could fling it multiple times. But then there's this one, has a stronger rubber band and we can stand back further. So here's what I'm thinking. This will be phase one. This will be the first one. This will be the one that we, we just verify that we can catch a peanut butter cup in our mouths. And then this one is where we have to scoot far back and try to catch it almost like flyers up. Okay, let me get in place and we'll see if I can catch it. So I think I need to be about right here. You going, mommy? Yeah. Okay, try it. It hit my mouth. Okay, I'll be right here. Okay, do it. Ah! There. Go, dogs. This is my candy. Okay, let's try it. Try it. Ah! Okay, go. There we go. Ow, what? That was mine. A few moments later. It's a hair trigger, so be careful. It means be careful. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> it didn't even hit my mouth. Three, two, one. Okay, okay, it was close. It was close enough to my mouth, right? Right? Okay, you wanna try it? Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people such as yourselves on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and many, many more. It's a great place to explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and just get lost in creativity. Plus classes in drawing, writing, and journaling can be a great way to help manage your stress and practice good mindfulness. There is a class I wanted to mention by Christopher Rhodes and it's called Video on a Budget. It takes you through the process of setting up and getting your footage without breaking the bank. I really like that he stresses using what you have, but also talks about renting equipment rather than buying it if it's needed for a specific shot. That's just good advice. You can find his class and many, many more over at Skillshare. The first 1,000 of you that click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium so you can go explore your creativity and empower your passion. A big thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this and we'll have you right back to it. 
Well, that was an adventure. It looks like catching peanut butter cups in your mouth is something that is more skill than luck. I would, I'm very novice at this, uh, but I'll, I'll keep practicing in case this becomes an Olympic sport. Reese's peanut butter cups, they're super tasty. And I have a challenge out to Hershey's who distributes these. We were able to make these this size for your Reese's peanut butter cups. What happens if you make a bigger peanut butter cup? If you make a bigger peanut butter cup, we'll make a bigger launcher and we'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, uh, it's up to you. Uh, if, if you tweet, tweet at Hershey's or tag them on the Facebook or the socials or whatever. Uh, but this was a lot of fun. A big thanks to Fernando for designing this. There'll be a link in the description to download the model and print this out yourself. And obviously, peanut butter cups are at the end of it. You can fling any assortment of candy you like. You may have to reinforce some things or get some different rubber bands. But pretty in pink and orange, you glad I didn't say banana. Uh, I think this was a success. Uh, and Kelly and Raz, thanks for believing in me and the awesome ideas. These are going to go to you. Well, at least one of them. You get to pick and I'll take the one you don't want. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, and as always, from a safe distance, high five.